Okay, so I realised I looked like a big, huge man in this. But once I started editing it, I realised I looked like a humongous ogre. So um, can we actually just ignore that? Pretend that that's not going on in the video. It is... To be honest, I look the same now. I've recorded it, like, only today. So I, I do be looking the same. But can we just, like, pretend that that's not happening? Because that is actually upsetting, to be honest. And I'm not arsed to make myself look more presentable and film it again. So, like, everyone just be like, oh my god, you're so pretty. And I'll be like, thanks. Back once again. Hey, yeah. Not gonna lie, I did just have a little look in the camera and scared myself. So, I mean, I, I can't imagine how you guys are feeling, but let's just, you know, we'll power through, we'll get on with the video. We'll pretend this isn't happening and just move on. Basically, for today's video, I really, really wanted to film uh, answering your assumptions about me because I love watching those videos. So I put it up on my Instagram story and I was like, okay, please, can everyone just write one? Because I wanted to do it so bad. And like so many people wrote them and it literally made me so happy. Like even if yours was me and I was just like, thank you. And if somebody wrote in it and was like, hate your guts, you are so annoying. I was like, oh my God, they wrote something. Like that, that was the kind of vibe I was going with. But I was so happy. So many people wrote it. Like I was nearly crying. Like no joke, I was nearly crying. Tears came to my eyes. Like I was like, oh my God. So thank you everyone who like wrote one. You are literally the best people ever. It was so nice and I really, really appreciate it. I know that it might just seem like something small to everyone else, but like that was just so nice. So anyway, moving on, let's get into it. First one is, it kills you when you see people not doing their makeup right. And you know what? I actually don't mind it. Like it doesn't bother me at all because like obviously I wasn't good at makeup the whole time. So like I understand that that's just not the case and not everyone can like do it. And like it doesn't bother me. The one thing that does bother me though is my friend. I won't name names, right? But she decides to go on every night out with no lipstick on. And I tell her, I say, put some lipstick on. Like, just put some lipstick on. It makes it, like, all come together. Like, just do that. And she's like, mm, like, am I arsed? And I'm like, what, what, what do you mean? Like, if you're going to spend an hour doing your makeup, you might as well finish it off with a bit of lipstick. I'm actually getting heated thinking about it. I just, I, I can't comprehend it. That's the only thing that, like, would bother me about somebody. And it's only her. If someone else decided they didn't want to wear lipstick, I'd be like, you know what? Go you. Don't wear lipstick if you don't want to. It's just because it's, like, sheer lack of effort. Like, she's just like, ugh, nah. And I'm like... And then half the time, I end up just being like, oh my god, come here and put lipstick on her. To be honest, for a makeup artist, I don't really look at other people's makeup too often. On a night out or something, like, the last thing I'm focusing on is someone else's makeup. Do you know what I mean? Okay, this one says, you're the baddest bitch of all time. Um, true. Correct. That one actually came from my other Instagram account. <laughs> Still true though. Still true. So this is one from like before the person knew me and it goes, I assumed you were a genuine girl, didn't realise you'd have such funny humour. <laughs> stop. Oh stop. <laughs> Honestly, these just made my head like grow about 10 times because they're all just like you're so funny and I'm like this one cut deep this one hit different this one just I don't know you know ones that you get and you're just like am I crying I know I'm only messing but this one says I assumed you'd be better at maths thank you that came from the girl that sat beside me in maths I honestly think enough is said in that message alone um i wasn't i wasn't a mathematician obviously i meant an english speaking citizen either but basically i was not good at maths not good at anything but definitely not maths this one just says pure pure absolute mad thing dot com wouldn't be wrong correct did i even just see my rhyme in there that was fucking sick not gonna lie but anyway okay so Basically, this one goes, I feel like you never go for any exercise, ever. <laughs> they really have to, you know, cement that in with the ever. Just call me a fat bitch to my face, please. Thank you. And you wouldn't mind that, like, you'd be like, okay, okay. I feel like you never go for an exercise chair, and that's fine, okay. And then they go, 
definitely wake up at 3pm and go to sleep at like 4am. Obviously this person just thinks my life is a mess. I don't have my life together whatsoever and I'm just constantly in a bad state. Thank you for that by the way, that was um, lovely to hear. I love when people call me fat and a complete mess. It's really, really, really nice. I know when you mess them, I was actually reading these and I was like, all right. And then I was like, <laughs> you know what? They're not wrong. <laughs> I could be offended, but I can't be. I actually can't be offended. I've never exercised one. Like I have a bad knee, so I can't really do much, but I have been doing well the last little while. I've been going, doing my exercise, all that stuff. I took a break today because the knee swelled up. I definitely wake up at 3 p.m. and go to sleep at like 4 a.m. is actually kind of incorrect. I did mess up my sleeping schedule like the last little while, but had a nice, lovely sleep last night, and here I am living my life. So hopefully, my sleeping schedule is, you know, back on track. Like I got so many being like, you're really confident in person, and then also people saying you're really shy and quiet until people get to know you like all this kind of so they're kind of like the same like my aunts would be the same for both of them so basically um i am probably the most shy person you'll ever come across i literally cannot speak to people if i don't know you oh, i i cannot get my words out like i'd be like <laughs> it's not it's not ideal like i'm not gonna lie sometimes i can come across confident like i can be like not even not confident now like bare minimum like able to talk to someone. Sometimes I can come across like that. Like if I'm able, if I'm having a good day and I'm able to get my words out. And then if not majority of the time, basically I'm literally just like unable to speak. But you know what, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. I'm really trying to work on my confidence and stuff and work on just not being a mess all of the time. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like I just feel comfortable like on here. Like I probably shouldn't. I probably am just constantly embarrassing myself. Like I, this is probably the one place I should be embarrassed and talking to somebody when I see them, I shouldn't be. But for some reason it's just reversed. It decided to play a little trick on me and it's all just mixed up. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just shy, quiet. I'm getting so frustrated because I genuinely just can't explain this. Like, I can't. I don't know how to explain it. Like, yeah, I'm shy. Basically, I'm shy at first until you get to know me. Also, somebody assumed you don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Offended, but that's fine. You just, you just let it all out. <laughs> don't mind me, don't mind me. Somebody literally just assumed they just said, big fat bitch. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Love all my fans. You fight with your siblings. Absolutely not me. And my siblings get on very well. We never really fight, to be honest. We're all good great friends obviously like years ago when we were younger maybe like you kind of fight with your siblings more when you're younger but now we never really fight like i can't remember the last time we had a fight actually the last time i had a fight with my sister was because i left my cup in her room right <laughs> i left my cup in her room and i was walking out and she was coming out behind me and like i literally like she was so close to it and she was like are you not bringing your cup and i was like it's literally right there like what like you bring it like i'm sorry that i left it there like i forgot but like now that this is happening could you not just get like when you've seen it and she was like bring your cup like you're not leaving your cup there and i was like but like you're so close to the cup and she was like but it's not my cup it's in my room but it's not my cup and i was like so i had to like go and walk the whole way around her bed and get her cup again and then we like walked out of her room and down the stairs i absolutely stormed down the stairs like fume and like my blood was boiling i was like <sighs> can't believe she made me get her cup and then we both walked into the kitchen and just like howled like just laughed so much we were like well, what was that like why were we so mad about a cup and then we just laughed and then we were like oh my god we haven't fought in so long like that was our first fight so like we never fight none of us do really so incorrect that is not correct uh, that is not correct this one right this one just says are you actually this cute in real life like i honestly don't think i've been called cute in my entire life i'll take it i was i was pretty delighted when i seen that one not gonna lie i was just like cute me but like i actually have never been called cute ever people just must not have been telling me they must have been like if she knows how cute she is it'll go to her head and you know what it has 
I am the cutest person in the world. So you use expensive skincare products. <laughs> Do I look? Do I look? I don't use expensive skincare but I use the ones that are like supposed to be good. Everyone's saying I'm very very funny and I mean correct. True. <laughs> it's all facts, no printer. <laughs> you can call me the prettiest person you've ever seen. No one has ever called me that but you could and it still wouldn't hit the same as if you called me funny. Does anyone else just think that is the best compliment or if somebody calls you like kind and genuine or like funny funny is the best one like somebody hits me with the you're so funny and my head honestly turns to the same size as mount everest like i do be just so delighted with myself and to be honest it goes to my head a bit i'd be like <laughs> i am the funniest person in the world i honestly i don't care what anyone says telling someone they're funny just hits different it's the best compliment to receive well, actually, that's a lie. Probably the best compliment you could receive. I've actually received it a few times. I don't mean to brag, but it would probably be funny, kind, genuine, super pretty. Prettiest girl I've ever seen. Um, did I mention funny? Funny again. And then goes, and you have the world's juiciest, fattest ass. And that's fat with a PH. That's probably the best compliment you could receive. Overall, that is actually a compliment I have received numerous times. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to brag. <laughs> Someone make me stop talking. Like somebody just make me stop talking. It shouldn't be allowed. Like people shouldn't be allowed to say things like that. Like that's just not okay. I got a good few and it said like you're a party girl like life at a party like a lot of people said like I feel like you'd be real fun on a night out. <laughs> Correct. I actually haven't been out in months like months obviously no one's been out in months but I haven't been out in months before this all happened so there's that and now I'm fuming at myself like absolutely fuming like why didn't I go out? Like, now I can't go out when I really want it. That's not ideal. I'll definitely be party girl when this is all over. Like, those assumptions will be true when this is all over. I do love a good night out, I'm not gonna lie. Um, on a night out, you will find me in one place and one place only, and that is the dance floor. I actually don't move from it. I absolutely love a good boogie on a night out. Like, there's nothing better than a good boogie. It's what I go out for, to be honest. There's, like, people who kind of, like, stand around talking. No, I'm not about that life. You'll see me throwing shapes and throwing shapes only so this is one of my friends absolute mad bitch shit friend joking such a kind and nice girl to everyone but before i knew you i thought that you were a bit annoying but that was just you and home ec not the best cook <laughs> basically i was in home ec living my life I wasn't a huge fan didn't really like cooking and all that i just wasn't really up for it you know what i mean it wasn't me living my best life so i decided not to no, you know what? This is actually what happened. This is the true story. I tried. I did try for a while. I brought my food in. Like, sometimes I forget the odd thing. Editing my um, video now and I realised my camera must have cut off when I was in the middle of talking and I didn't notice. But I'll just finish off the story. So basically, I was like really, really annoying. Like, people in school that just like, you're in home ec and they're always forgetting everything. Like, I try. Like, I would try. Like, I'd bring in my ingredients but like i forget to bring a lunch box to bring it all home in like that kind of stuff do you know what i mean just like so annoying and one day i don't know what i, I did something wrong anyway and my teacher was like i don't know she just turned around to me and she was like how are you neve allen's sister and obviously neve is my sister and she was like real like smart and like good in school and stuff and um, I was not. <laughs> so obviously little 15 year old me almost started crying on the spot. Obviously did not. Then like went home and absolutely did cry myself to sleep that night. So that was ideal. Especially when I was younger like in school and stuff. I'd hate when teachers would compare me to like my brother and sister. Because they were both really really smart. And like um, let down at the family right here. So... I used to hate that. Could not care less now, but like obviously when I was younger, I didn't think the way I think now. So like that stuff used to bother me. Like it didn't bother me, but it was just kind of like, oh my God, everyone thinks I'm shit. Like 
basically was my mindset of the whole situation so when she said that it really really got to me I was hurt to say the least so yeah after that little incident I just completely stopped trying in home ec like wouldn't bring my ingredients or anything like I didn't do anything so that's obviously why my friend now thought I was annoying in home ec because like she didn't know me and I was just that like kid who was like don't have my ingredients today me just like I don't know like I, I just that happened and I was like I'm not trying anymore that's it if she thinks I'm shit then I'm gonna be shit like honestly so stupid I honestly don't know why but yeah that's what I was saying but it uh, cut off so honestly it's probably the pettiest thing ever but I mean that's what was happening so after that I never brought any of my ingredients in or anything like maybe the odd time I would but like just all around didn't really do anything in home ec this was in like third year as well for that whole year I just didn't really participate in home ec let's just say that's why she thought I was annoying because obviously I was that kid that was just like I don't have my ingredients today and then would just sit there doing nothing for the entire double class because like I didn't have my ingredients so I was just like it was actually like it was so mean like it really hurt my feelings at the time we're over it now leave all that stuff in the past forgiven I probably gave the poor teacher enough and um, hassle over that year to make up for her one rude comment to me <laughs> I was obviously too shy to ever like give hassle like I didn't speak so like it would just be like me like I don't have my ingredients today <laughs> my friend goes assumed you were so quiet and not weird at all brackets I was very wrong true the same friend also said never thought you'd slag the shy out of me 90% of the time correct I honestly I don't think somebody who gets offended easily could be friends with me I'm not mean but like I do feel the need to like absolutely slag you all of the time if you're my friend so an Aldi car park is your ideal day correct would be no better place that's actually probably my favorite place in the world I might actually take my holidays there this year there's just there's no better place to be honest let's not lie about it it's true it's the best place in the world right this one this one though right this one made me tear up i'm not gonna lie it was honestly just the nicest thing ever that you're not fully aware how funny entertaining and talented you are now that is just something you need to hear every now and again isn't it like that's just something that you hear and your heart literally is about to explode and you're just like I know I come on here and I'm like, honestly, I'm the funniest person in the world. I love everything. I'm so talented. I'm the most entertaining person ever. But obviously, like, obviously, that's just like how I am. Like, it's sarcasm. I don't actually feel that way. And I get like insecure and everything. But like, just hearing that stuff just makes me be like, you know what? It is true. I am the funniest person in the world. Okay, no, I'm going to mess in. Hearing that stuff just makes me so happy because I'm like, oh my god, people actually enjoy what I'm doing. I'm fully okay with if like nobody enjoyed what I was putting out and everyone was just like, what a weirdo because it makes me happy at the end of the day. So I'm just fully happy with like it being a thing that I do for me and like I enjoy it and that's it. But the fact that like other people enjoy it and they think I'm funny and entertaining and talented just makes me like, I don't know, it's like so nice like isn't it just so nice like I don't even know how to explain it but like it's like just such like an added bonus the cherry on top like it really is you have bad knees incorrect I have bad knee <laughs> it's not plural it's just one oh like I got loads being like you've like the best humor I didn't realize how funny you are until like I started looking at your youtube blah 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 and I'm just like <laughs> soaking it all in just like <laughs> You're the type of person to let anyone copy their homework. True. Keep in mind, I was usually the one copying the homework, but if I ever had it done and anyone wanted it, I would give it to them straight away. More than likely would all be wrong. I think you're a bad MUA, but really you're not. To be honest, yeah, I always, always 
like put myself down and like if I do a look and it's not perfect every single look I've posted I'll find something wrong with it and I'll be like oh my god you're so bad you're so bad but I have to just like stop and keep reminding myself and be like no you know what that's actually very good look at the overall picture that one thing does not make or break the look I just have to keep reminding myself you've come so far all that stuff like I seen the first time I did my makeup like practicing at home the actual state of it really gave me shivers down my spine like I was like oh my god that's sick and I thought I was good I'm pretty sure the caption on one of the photos was do I even need this course where is that confidence now because I kind of want it back <laughs> like the makeup was shit and I was just like <laughs> don't even need a course like I'd love if I was like that again that would be great thanks are you really blonde do I look do I look I was actually blonde when I was a baby but like obviously not anymore this one made me laugh I knew you as Jack Allen's sister until I found out he is just Hannah Allen's brother correct that is the way everyone should be thinking that is the truth right there Okay, so I think I've answered like most of the assumptions. A lot of them were kind of like the same thing and stuff. So I didn't get to read all of them. Thank you so, so much. Like, thank you so much if you sent one in. Like, it means the absolute world to me. Like, I'm so grateful if you did. You don't know how happy it made me to see that there were so many there and that a lot of people put the effort in to help me out thank you so much like I genuinely cried about it like I'm not even lying that is so embarrassing but I, I genuinely seen how many there was and I cried like I'm nearly crying again <laughs> I'm actually the most stupid person ever like shut me up I'm so so grateful like thank you so much I can't even explain how much it meant to me you are all the best thank you so much that is all i can say really like it just made my day i hope you enjoyed to be honest most of the video is me just struggling to explain what type of person i am because i genuinely don't know how to explain it like i'm just ugh, i don't know like i don't know how to explain it i'm shy but i'm also not shy and then it's just like oh my god you know what basically this is how you explain it i'm shy all of the time but sometimes i'm not as shy as other times but still shy unless I'm with my friends obviously and that is that's me drawing a line under it but basically if you talk to me in person you'll be like who is she who is that <laughs> why is she like that she doesn't act like that that's it thanks for watching if you made it this far even don't forget to like comment subscribe 